Let's send some DST sensor data to the clouds using Blink IoT application with this vulnerable TTGO TSIM 7000G module. This board comes with inbuilt GSM 7000 module which supports the 4G LTE frequency band and it is also attached with inbuilt GS GPS. This is the GPS antenna and this is the antenna for SIM card for the GSM module. It has a nano SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. It has a type C connector and there is a power button you can on and off. It is a solar power input pin connector and there is a battery holder where you can attach any rechargeable batteries. It comes with few pins you can use for input and output. With all these amazing features, this board does not require any external power supply or internet connection to perform any IoT application. Okay, we are going to send the DHT sensor data, which is temperature and humidity, using this TTGO SIM board. We are going to use Blink application to perform this project. Let's get started. So this is the pin connection we are going to use. We are using pin number 32 as a signal output and connecting it with the DST sensor. Other two pins which is VCC and ground is connected to respective pins. Our connection is done. It is quite simple. Let's insert the SIM card to SIM slot. We are using a nano SIM card which is compatible with our board let's plug the cable with the computer don't forget to attach the antenna with the correct socket connection is done the green LED indicates the power supplied in board and these two red LED indicates the power to the GSM module. One blinking LED indicates the signal strength or connecting of the SIM card to the network. Before uploading the program, we have to prepare the Blink IoT platform. Just search the Blink IoT platform and log in with your Google account. My account is already logged in. go to the templates create a new template name your project i am writing here dst double one ttgo board uses esp32 so i am choosing esp32 and connection type is gsm so here the template is ready go to the data stream create two data stream in and select virtual pin writing the name temperature Choosing the data type as double, selecting unit as Celsius and giving it a range from 0 to 120 degree centigrade so it can measure up to 120 degree. And the temperature data stream is ready. We have to create another which is humidity. So writing the name humidity, selecting data type as double unit as a percentage and giving the range 0 to 100 and create so our data stream is ready let's save this and now we are going to add device just click on the search button add new device we have already created a template so we will Choose from existing template DST double one create. Now click on these three dots and go to edit dashboard. Here you can set your parameters in which format you are going to see the value of your temperature sensor and humidity. So we will select two gauges. Go to the setting. You can give any name or you can choose it from the template. So 
just choose the template same with the humidity choose as a humidity and save it so these are the two gauges in which we will see the temperature and humidity just save it and the data will be shown something like this go to the device info and copy this credential we have to paste it to our code just copy it and open the Arduino programming and paste the credential for your board now as per your sim card operator you have to set the GPRS credential and find the APN name of your sim card in my case I'm using Airtel so I have found it the APN name and just copy and paste it here the user and password will be same as the operator name another thing which we have to define in this code that is virtual pin as per the blink IoT platform so in my case it's v0 and v1 and we are all set to go just select the board ESP32 DU module then select the correct port in my case it's 13 just upload the code the code is uploaded now let's see the serial monitor all the 80 commands which our code is trying to send the reply is shown here our sim card is ready let's see it's sending the temperature or not so the temperature is being sent to the blink iot platform let's see on our application is there any changes or not so here is the blink platform let's go to the dashboard excellent the temperature is reflecting here the temperature is 25 and the humidity is 47 great you can see the live values is being shown here in both serial monitor as well as blink iot platform let's see the changes i'm trying to blow in dht sensor You can see it's working properly now we will read the data in mobile application let's download it from google play if you are having an android device just type blink iot already downloaded so it's showing for update it will ask for login again after login it will show the same device which we have set in the website just select the dst 11 and go inside select the widget i am choosing here gauge and choose again because we have to see temperature and humidity choose the data stream for humidity and temperature you can name it and do the same for the humidity we are naming it to humidity it's done let's just resize the gauge then we are all done to see the live value of DHT sensor excellent it's working fine you can see the temperature variation here while I am blowing again you can see the humidity and temperature is changing here our IoT device is ready make sure you subscribe the channel and like the video thank you